Hey guys, welcome to Diamond Drilling 101. Um, today we're going to work on driller's eye view. Uh, I use this diagram to explain downhole issues and what we're doing to either geologists or entry level employees. And I also use the same diagram to explain to the guys what I'd like to see happen downhole while they're on the drill. So I can use these pictures remotely or I can draw them a little diagram on paper before I send them off to work. Driller's eye view is the starting point for all the pictures that I draw for the guys. It's just so that we all have the same picture in our head when I'm explaining things to them. We'll start with going over the anatomy of the basic diagram and this will lead into things as they get more complicated down the series of videos that we're going to do for you. Uh, we'll start with the drill floor and the surface of the ground. So the drill is sitting directly on top of bedrock, driller's dream. Pull the drill on, just start drilling. Don't have to worry about casing. We'll go over casing in the next video. We have three basic platforms that we'll use. We'll start with the track drill. Uh, this is just what it sounds like. The, the drill is sitting on a platform and has tracks and the foreman or the driller can drive it around remote control or with levers on the back of the drill. The next platform is a skid drill. So it's on big I-beam skids and it gets pulled around by an excavator or a dozer. And the next platform are wooden six by sixes. This is when we dismantle the drill from the drill shack and we fly it around piece by piece with the helicopter. Next on the list is the drill head. It can grab the rods and it can spin both ways and lift up and it can let the rods down. Next after that is the foot clamp. It can also grab the rods but this is a stationary unit. These two pieces work together to get the drilling done. On to the next is the core barrel, reaming shell, and the drill bit. I have a drill bit here. This is the crown. These slits are called waterways, and the core goes into the middle into the tube. We'll talk about that later. It's also impregnated with diamonds, hence diamond drilling. When we're drilling, we're spinning fast and pushing hard. So we have to pump water into the system, and down the rods to the bit to cool the bit down to prevent it from welling to the rock while we drill. That's what the waterways are for. So we'll pump water into the swivel hose. It'll go down the rods, out the middle of the bit, up the annulus, and onto surface in the form of cuttings. And this is basically just rock and water, depending on the additives that you're using. Usually just polymer, especially in this situation, we really don't need additives. Thanks for joining us on our first episode of Diamond Drilling 101. I hope you enjoyed the diagram that I've drawn for you. And this will lead into other drawings that I've done. And next episode will be on casing. So we're going to start involving overburden on top of the bedrock. Mm -hmm.